What up, Super Fun Force? Here for some Toy Mondays, and guess what I got my hands on? I got Exosuit Spike Wit Wiki. And uh, as you can see, here's the box. Cool, I'm doing this one up pretty close because this is a small dude. And I already unboxed it for you, and there you go. That's what it looks like. Package is pretty simple. I might hold on to it just because it's tiny. Has a little bit of the instructions inside. But let's check it out. Spike is here. <laughs> Cruising on in. Look at that. So. Yeah, this is a super special toy to me because, again, I'm a huge, huge fan of the Transformers the Animated Movie, one of the best animated movies and just space adventure, fantasy, sci-fi uh, stories of all time. I think it's epic. I think it has a lot of, you know, obviously, like, uh, general archetypes in it. But, I mean, overall, it's just, it's fantastic. Music, animation, characters, you know, humor and everything like that. Super, super great, guys. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. All right. So, anyways, yeah, when I was a kid and watching this, and I was like, man, I hope one day I can grow up and wear an exosuit like Spike. Um, fast forward to today, and unfortunately, we still cannot wear exosuits, but maybe in the next, I don't know, 20, 30, 500 years? <laughs> the sooner the better. Anyways, right now I have it transformed, and overall, I just want to say, I think this is a great pickup. I got it for nine bucks. Wouldn't pay more for it. You know, it should probably only be like five dollars, you know, kind of a little Happy Meal toy, toy if you will, but still, it's great. Um, and I, I really like it. So what I want to do really quick is um let me grab a scaled figure too just really fast all right just so you guys can see here's like a bumblebee cyberverse and then you're not going to get to see the full figure but here's a studio series blur right so that's kind of like the scale all right if you stand it up anyways Okay, so right now we have it in vehicle mode. And as you can see here, this is what it looks like. It has these afterburner ports here. And we're gonna do humanoid mode. So um, <clears throat> basically it's kind of tricky. And this, this is the only part that's a little bit tricky because you have to like pivot these legs on a separate joint, right? Like you see how it bends right, you know, like there. And then you, you wanna try to bend it at this like weird second section here before straightening it out. Where the the uh, the ball peg is, so there's a ball peg, and then there's um you know like kind of like the hip joints. So yeah, you want to make sure you get get that you know kind of bracketed bend, and then you want to uh, turn this. It's basically the reverse. So you know when you start off with it, you're going to you know spin these the other way, and then you're going to do that that you know kind of L shaped folded bend. After that, you're going to just reveal the head like so. This is the front section here with the yellow lights. And then we're just gonna rotate the arms up so the wheels are up. Now these are the wheels here. You got spinning wheels here too. And then to fix the arms, just kind of kind of fold them out like this, like that. And then rotate it here where the fists are. And then there you go. Ta-da, we got Spike with Wiki. Cool, man. So <clears throat> this is going to be a quick review. Uh, like I said before, I think it's great to have access to this character. Uh, I've always wondered why they haven't really made toys of it. Maybe they have, you know, maybe limited Japanese releases. And you can put these here, by the way. So you can kind of flip it over because they also can shoot with it, right? But this is a great interpretation. You know, it has the usual flaws of Hasbro toys. If you haven't already, check out my Transformers versus Tobots video where I kind of talk about that. But yeah, I mean, it has like some hollowing here, obviously the back of the legs. And not a big fan <clears throat> of these like, you know, weird bulb, you know, um, ball joints. But I mean, it works for what it is, you know. Detailing is fine. Colors are super accurate to the cartoon. So big props. Uh, the only thing that's weird is like the face. So he kind of has a, a clay face face. If you guys know the animated series from, you know, Batman. But I mean, it's kind of better than them printing or just poking some white paint in like a black pupil because then that would just probably look really really bad so as you can see here it looks kind of dramatic it's like shadowed in or something not the worst i'd rather have this than the you know bad face paint job interesting to note his hair swoops over that way and the artwork it swoops opposite i'll have to double check the animated movie to see if it matters like 
Is it always one way? I mean, obviously, if it was real life, he could swoop it however he wants. <clears throat> I guess based on his hairline. But it'd be interesting to see if the animated movie was consistent with that. Like, if it kept swooping to one side or it just also changed depending on, you know, whatever, you know, he was facing and whatnot. But yeah, this is fun. It's very nice to have. Again, inexpensive. If you're a fan of the animated movie, if you like the fantasy aspect, sci-fi of like, you know, having an exosuit like this, uh, Transformers, it's great. And, um, you know, very easy to transform. So far, it feels sturdy. You know, everything feels like it's pretty stiff, but not overly stiff. Like, you can still move it without, like, like feeling like you're going to break it, you know. And posing is fine, you know. Some interesting posing. I just don't know how, uh, <laughs> how human arms could actually, like, do all this. It's kind of weird. But it's fine. I mean, if you maybe... Let's see what if you went... Now that'd be kind of weird. Plus, you'd have trouble folding the wheels down to the waist because it would start to rub against uh, those parts right there. But there you guys go. Keeping it quick. Uh, I still recommend it if you're a fan, like I said, of the uh, Transformers animated movie. If you just want to collect, you know, transforming robots, you're probably going to pass on this. If you haven't seen the movie, you're also probably going to pass on this. If you've seen the newer live action films, you're going to probably be, be like, whoa, this is not Spike Witwicky. So anyways, there you guys go. Still really cool. I'm happy to have it. Like I said, I'm still a fan of Transformers. I'm just very, very selective with what Hasbro releases as I'm more of a fan of the official Takara Tomy stuff. Even though, you know, as you can see, they have the licensing up there. But buy them. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Have you guys gotten this? Do you guys like Spike, uh, Spike Wit Wiki? And do you guys, you know, enjoy the animated movie as much as I do? All right, thanks so much for hanging out, guys. Thanks for liking and subscribing. I'll always have toys, retro toys, and stuff like that. Videos every Monday, you know, multiple videos. Uh, and shorts and stuff like that and maybe even some uh, skits hint hint check out my he-man aftermath i'm gonna definitely get that going and maybe i'll do some other skits with some other toys just you know having some fun all right guys don't forget keep your face say a prayer spread that love be positive be thankful i'll be coming back at you peace